This is not a Christmas song. Cut it off. Even though I turned in early last night, I didn't really get good sleep. Any day that I go off plan, I don't normally get good sleep just because my stomach is fuller than it normally is and so I'm a little bit more uncomfortable which makes sleep difficult. I was tossing and turning all night. When I saw that the clock said 5.35, like I forced myself to get up because I knew that if I didn't, I would not. And this is the only time of day I have to edit videos and I'm committed to doing it. So I'm only feeling mildly over it, but now that I'm up, it's okay. So let's get the day going. Okay guys, I had to go back to my roots, AKA black cherry to erase the traumatization of yesterday. I mean, I'm still gonna work the grape in and to be honest, it wasn't like as super bad as I thought, but it's just not my favorite. You know, like when you know your favorite, why have anything else but your favorite? You know what I'm saying? Black cherry it is. Shake, shake, shake. Da -da -da -da. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your bottle. Uh. Shake your bottle. Well, yo, 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 yo. Sorry, is that an answer? Shut up. Okay, so help me out guys. Why are there two different versions of some Christmas songs? Like, it's pretty much the same song, but then like one line has completely different lyrics. For instance, like, have yourself a merry little Christmas. Like, the version that I always knew was hang a shining star upon the highest bough. But then there's like, until then we'll have to muddle through somehow. Like, who came up with these different versions? And like, why are they both widely accepted? That's all I want to know. But it's it's not just that Christmas song. You know that there's like different lyrics to random Christmas songs. Why? Why? Okay guys, this is why I don't get any work done. Because I was just sitting here like actually working and then I thought about Zip Fizz and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go to the Zip Fizz website and see if they have an email address that I can email about their packaging. Lo and behold, they did. So now I'm sitting here writing a letter to Zipfizz about alternative packaging options. Like, this is where my day goes. I was wondering, have you ever considered packaging Zipfizz in plastic tubs with scoops? The individual tubes are super convenient, but a little superfluous and not the best for the environment if people aren't recycling them. Nailing it. Sent, holy smokes guys, not only did Zipfizz respond, but they wrote like nine paragraphs. Okay, I'm gonna read all of it and then just cut the highlights. Autumn. Thank you for contacting us at zipfizz.com. We appreciate your kind word regarding our Zipfizz products as well as your inquiry and feedback regarding our product packaging. Concerning the safety seal issue, we are aware of this issue and are working on its resolution with the manufacturer. Many of our customers use a bottle opener to pop the lid open, breaking the safety seal away in the process. Oh, any bottle opener will do. However, if you would like a small zip fizz bottle opener that attaches to a keychain, we would be happy to send one to you. Please provide your address. What? Regarding our zip fizz tube, we have had the best quality control over the quality of our product in the tube packaging. Our zip fizz product consists of crushed vitamins and minerals, which are quite sensitive to the air. Any larger tub container with a lid that is constantly opened and closed does not protect the powder from the air exposure and does not hold up over extended periods of time. We do encourage our customers to recycle their tubes and tubes are accepted with regular recycling pickup in most areas of the country. Should your area not accept number five plastic for recycling, you may want to look into the Gimme Five recycling program through many Whole Foods stores. Here's a link for more information about this program. 
We hope this information is helpful. We will forward the feedback you have given and we thank you for your inquiry. What? I mean, Zip Fizz just like jumped a zillion miles up like that. I mean, that was prompt, courteous, made a lot of sense. I'm sending them my address for a bottle opener. Also, if you're not recycling your Zip Fizz containers, start doing that today, right now. Just save them in a bag, take them to Whole Foods, or put it as part of your regular recycling, okay? Don't contribute to the problem. What can I say? I'm impressed. Thank you for calling Prime Beauty Studio. This is Autumn. How can I help you? We are located in J-Town, uh, near the corner of Hurstbourne and Taylorsville Road. Hey guys not really hungry so i'm just gonna have a couple of pieces of meat and some almonds i also got some cheese sticks so i am just chugging along working thank you for calling prime beauty studio this is autumn how can i help you she is with a client hold on is there anything i can help you with now have you ever heard the song christmas shoes like what the hell like a country folk song about him standing in line in the store and then a little boy standing in line in front of him talking to the cashier hauling about please please sir I need to buy these shoes for my mom because she's about to die and I want her to be wearing these shoes on Christmas if she meets Jesus tonight like what I'm just I'm just driving home in my car like <laughs> oh no I was and then and, and then in the bridge they got the nerve to have children singing it Sir, I want to buy these shoes. Like, what? You made the children sick? Like, you monster. Okay, guys. I don't know if you can tell, but there's a little something different going on up here. Look at that color. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, phase three. It was always the plan to go purple. Phase one, get these sides cut down. Phase two, get that blonde put in there. But what you didn't know was that the blonde was just the catalyst for the purple, huh? You didn't know that, did you, right? So I am very pleased with this. I'll probably take this down tomorrow, uh, but I just was not productive at work today, you guys. Like, I, I like to rate my productivity as a ratio of how much work I had to do versus how much I actually did. And I had a lot of work to do, and I didn't do a lot of work today. So I give myself like really like a D in terms of productivity, but there's always tomorrow. I'm gonna try really hard. That's just, it's, that's why it's so difficult to work in the shop. It's cause there's always so much going on and you just kind of get out of a rhythm and it's hard to just keep your focus and your productivity. But there's always Friday, woo! So I am going to focus. I am going to get ready for tomorrow and I'm going to sleep. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Watch Autumn Keto. I make weekly meal preps, weekly what I eat Wednesdays, and monthly weigh-ins. I am also doing Vlogmas. Thanks, and I'll see you tomorrow.